everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. It is Monday, July 29th, a brand new week. And in the middle of the week, on Thursday specifically, we'll have pro football and we'll have the month of August welcoming us in. So teams are wrapping up July series and uh, two of them that we'll talk about today in MLB, the Texas Rangers and St. Louis Cardinals will go into hyperdrive as far as trying to make the playoffs go. Obviously, the trade deadline comes up on Tuesday. Both of these teams are expected to be busy. The Rangers have already made a few moves. They've added Carson Kelly, the catcher from Detroit, and uh, they've traded Michael Lorenzen to the Kansas City Royals. Uh, but I don't think that's a seller thing. That's a uh, uh, pitchers are coming back thing for the Rangers, who will welcome back Jacob deGrom soon and got Max Scherzer back this month, earlier this month. Uh, Cody Bradford's coming back. Uh, just uh, Tyler Malley is supposed to come back as well. So uh, Rangers getting reinforcements, but they were just swept over the weekend in Toronto. Uh, painful series sweep for them, dropping them to 51 and 55 on the season. They lost six to five and uh, Saturday and Sunday by the identical scores of seven to three. And uh, that snapped the longest winning streak that they've enjoyed all season. So the defending World Series champs had won 12 of 16 and five in a row. Then they go to play the Blue Jays, uh, looking for at least a series win there to get two out of three and end up with squat. So they're four and a half games back in the AL West behind the Mariners and Astros and six back of the Royals for the final wild card spot entering Monday's action. So 13 and nine in July, despite the sweep, they're still uh, treading water and uh, we'll see what happens if they can get back into the playoffs and make a run to try and repeat as Major League Baseball's champions. And the Cardinals come in at 54 and 51. Uh, they have dropped four of six losing series in Pittsburgh and home to the Nats, but did avoid a sweep against Washington as Paul Goldschmidt played hero on Sunday afternoon with a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth, uh, won that game four to three and are now 11 and 11 in July. And Goldschmidt basically said that every game from here on out is a playoff game. And that's that's not an understatement statement um, or hyperbole. Uh, I believe that at this point, given how packed the wild card race is in the National League and the fact that the Brewers have a healthy six game lead, the Cardinals are in uh, playoffs or bust mode and we'll see what moves they make. Uh, you know, Tommy Edmond is on the block. It remains to be seen who they bring in and uh, who comes out. They'll probably add a pitcher, but if they don't, Andre Pallante will probably stay in the rotation. And Pallante has been really good in July. He will start today against uh, te uh, Texas's Nathan Yavaldi in this pitching matchup. The Rangers opened as a minus 120 favorite uh, with the Cardinals being even money. And now it's about uh, Caesars has it, Texas minus 115, and the Cardinals minus 105. The Superbook at Westgate minus 108 for the Rangers and minus 102 for St. Louis. DraftKings is at minus 112, minus 108. So essentially a pick them. Everybody agrees on the total being eight and a half. And uh, this is the first of three in this interleague series. And both teams will use this as a springboard into August where they'll be packed and stacked in terms of uh, the schedule that awaits them. The Cardinals have just three days off between now and September 4th. They'll open August with four at Wrigley. Then they've got a makeup game against the Mets, who they're neck and neck with in the wild card race. They've got a home and home with the, the Brewers, uh, six games there. The Dodgers come to town. They visit the Bronx. So, yeah, Goldschmidt wasn't kidding. A lot of these games are going to matter a ton. And the Rangers will go home to face the Red Sox and the hated Houston Astros, then go to the Bronx to play the Yankees, and we'll have a rematch with the Red Sox at Fenway. So, again, lots to watch here as the stretch run for MLB begins. Uh, Totals-wise, and that's where we're going to go with this matchup, uh, the under is five and two over the last seven for the Cardinals, and the over is four and one over the last five for Texas. 
And we're going to take the first five under here. Uh, going with the playoff theme, we think runs will be hard to come by here. Nathan Yavaldi comes in 7-4 and four with a 3.31 ERA and a 1.04 uh, whip, which is very good. 104 strikeouts in 106 innings. He's not going anywhere, despite the, the rumors that he would be uh, on the block. Uh, Palante has been really good in July. 2.79 ERA over 19 in the third innings. He's worked uh, six or more innings each time. And uh, he's uh, making his 10th straight start after initially coming out of the bullpen. Saw where he, he said that he'd love to stay in the rotation, feels most comfortable there, and is certainly pitching his way to stick, especially if St. Louis doesn't make a move. He comes in 4-4 four and four with a 3.92 ERA and 44 strikeouts in 57 and a third innings. The 21 walks are a problem, but if he can uh, clean that up, and uh, throw strikes. I think he'll get through five innings here. And we want to avoid the bullpens. Don't really trust the Rangers pen. Um, Cardinals just uh, traded, or not traded, but waived uh, Giovanni Gallegos to uh, make a financial move in case they do add more talent uh, here in the next 24 hours. So we're going to go first five, riding the under four and a half runs in Cardinals. Rangers, no real history to, to talk about here in terms of uh, Hitting props, uh, Yavaldi has uh, faced Matt Carpenter and Brandon Crawford, two uh, guys buried on the Cardinals bench, and has not had success about against them. So we'll see if uh, they're in the lineup today. Carpenter, 6-for-12 against Yavaldi. Brandon Crawford, 6-for-17 with a home run. Nolan Arenado is 2-for-7, and Goldschmidt, 2-for-12 against Yavaldi. Palante, uh, limited history against the Rangers, who uh, – Guys that might be in the lineup are just a combined one for six against them, mostly with one at bat uh, and uh, Marcus Simeon, the only one with a hit. So, again, we're going with the Cardinals and Rangers under four and a half runs for our best bet here at Wager Talk TV. And uh, I shaved for you guys because I could have been st uh, staying on my couch and watching the Olympics all day, uh, but decided to give you this free play. So the least you could do is give me a like here and make sure you're subscribed to Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. Uh, I'll remind you that I've got a 5% max bet going on Monday night. So get in on that. I'm 7-1 and one on those for the season. You can get an all-day pass as well. Gets you into some soccer plays, doing really well on that. And MLB has been great. I'm uh, uh, number one in at uh, Sports Memo over the last three days. Uh, and I believe seven days, something like that. And uh, you know, the, the run has been really good. Number one at uh, Sports Memo for all sports over the last 30 days as well. So check me out. You can check out my page and package information at sm.buzz slash TDM. And follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero, where I'll give you freebies uh, on action in the Olympics. Uh, when in, I think on uh, some women's uh Basketball, United States plays Japan. Got some Argentinian uh, soccer. You're not living if you're not betting the Argentine first division on a Monday night. So check out my page for a free play there. So again, make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV. We've got great deals going on across Wager Talk and Sports Memo, early bird specials for pro football and college football that can get you the rest of MLB for free. Remember, we got a Hall of Fame game coming up on Thursday. Thanks for watching. I'm wishing you a profitable week. I'm Tony Mejia. Have a great one.